another three minute mastery from module two here we're going to take another look at some more basic oil traps so here's a depiction of a fair number of traps remember that rock layers these are strata so when I say strata or stratum the singular make sure you're thinking rock layers so here's an anticline uh, trap notice that it's in it's a trap that was formed due to an anticlinal fold. Uh, here is a pinch out. Here is an unconformity. Here's a fault trap. And here is a salt dome trap. So again, the anticlinal trap was formed uh, in this anticline. Uh, there was a separation and there was a s this particular strata had some denser rocks. So oil and gas and even water were able to accumulate and move upward and then got trapped. Uh, here in a pinch out what happened was there was a separation between this strata and this strata and because of there was a because there was some void then we got some accumulation here. An unconformity simply means that this rock and this rock were so dissimilar that they weren't able to meld together due to pressure and heat and so we ended up with a void here. In a fault trap, needless to say, we have a fault line, we have a couple of fault lines here and uh, we had some discontinuity with strata densities and so we have an opportunity uh, for an accumulation right at this fault line. A salt dome is an accumulation of, wait for it, salt and it simply pushes forward or pushes upward and takes what might otherwise be some horizontal layering of rocks and as that salt dome is created and it push, pushes up it then warps the, uh, the rocks above it and so we end up with a salt dome. Here's another picture of an anticlinal trap. These are also known as salt plugs because when this salt is created, or rather this salt uh, creates this dome, uh, it ends up plugging up uh, the space around it. Oftentimes you'll find that there are great oil accumulations on the sides, and so drilling near a salt dome or a salt plug is pretty difficult because you have to get just right next to uh, the salt without actually drilling into it. For your notes, I'd like you to continue to take a look at fault traps. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure that you consider uh, their occurrence on the hanging wall as well as the foot wall. And also explore what kind of traps are common in Colorado.